Hi guys, my name is Isabel and welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video and as you can see from the title, it's going to be a review of my newest handbag purchase which is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the Emprunt leather in the color pink. Before I get into the review, I just wanted to really quickly introduce my channel to you guys. So I'm a big lover of high-low fashion styling and I wear really affordable clothing items and then accessorize them with designer goods such as handbags, shoes and statement pieces like belts. So whenever I make any of these bigger purchases of handbags and shoes, I do a ton of research before I invest that, that money into these items and my favorite way of doing that is on YouTube videos. So if there are anyone out there that are considering buying any of these items that I own in my collection, I want to share my thoughts and my experience with those items and hopefully that will help someone out gather a bit more information before they make a decision on these items. Also, I love finding affordable clothes that look really nice so I'll be sharing a lot of my finds with you guys and also I'll show you how I style those affordable clothes with all the design accessories that I've got in my collection. So if this is something that interests you as well, I'd love it if you consider subscribing to my channel and I really hope to see you back here. So now getting to the review, this is the box that the bag came in. So this is your standard gorgeous Louis Vuitton box. So let me undo the ribbon or slip the ribbon off and open the bag, open the box. And when you open it up, it's a pretty big box for this bag. The bag is in its dust bag and now to review, let me just open the dust bag. So this is my new beautiful Pochette Matisse bag in the Emprunt leather in the color pink. It is just a stunning pink color guys. So this bag comes in your classic monogram, uh, reverse monogram that they've recently started doing and the Emprunt leather. And the Emprunt leather comes in so many beautiful colors including the black, I've seen a beige one, I've seen a really um, nice cream color as well and there's a red one I've seen and there's a hot pink um, bag as well and I went for this baby pink and I'll quickly share with you the backstory on why I decided to purchase this bag. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you don't I'd love it if you check it out as well. My Instagram name is My Style Experiment. So if you follow me on Instagram you already know that I purchased a pair of Gucci loafers recently and I got it in this really beautiful pink color. I was tossing up between the black and the pink and I thought the pink was just so vibrant and I don't have anything this color in any of my bags or shoes so I thought it would be a really nice fun addition to my collection. But when I got these shoes I just really wanted to find a bag that would match the um, shoes perfectly. So I've been looking and I decided initially on the Gucci Marmont mini bag and that um, had the same color pink. So I ordered that bag and the bag came and I tried it on and I found that the mini bag was a little bit too small. In my opinion, this pink is more of a casual color. So I would wear the bag and the shoes more casually during the day. And I found that the Gucci mini bag was a little bit small to serve the day bag function. So I wasn't 100% sure about the bag when I um, tried to pack my things in it. And then a couple of days later, I went to um, Westfield um, Bondi Junction, which is a big shopping center here in Sydney. And I was just walking along Louis Vuitton and on the window, I saw that they had this bag in stock. So that, that day I did have my shoes with me. So I quickly tried them on together and they looked pretty good together. The color matched pretty closely and they were so cute together. So this bag came with me and I ended up returning the Gucci bag. Alrighty, so that's a little backstory on this purchase and just getting into all the details of the bag now. Um, so the bag has the push lock closure here and then the behind at the back, it's got a zipper compartment here as well. I love exterior pockets for easy access items such as my phone or parking ticket. It's a top handle bag as well as a shoulder bag. So I'll put on the shoulder strap in a minute to show you. And then we push on the push lock. And when we open the bag up, the inside of the flap is the same leather material without the embossing of the Louis Vuitton monogram. And it is that really nice leather. And then the inside is the fabric lining in the same color. And I just absolutely love the stripes. And oh, there's a shoulder strap. So let me take that out. It's an adjustable shoulder strap as well, so it can work for all different heights, and I love that. And then it's also got some key instructions and the materials card, so let me just take that out. 
So I attached the shoulder strap on the back and that's what it looks like. So the bag has a D-ring on each side where the shoulder strap attaches to. And I'll quickly show you what the bag looks like on me. So for reference, I'm 164 centimeters tall or five foot four. And the bag can be handheld like this, which is really ladylike. Also, the bag can be one on the shoulder, which is just really easy, casual. I'll probably wear it like this the most. And then you can also crossbody the bag. And that's a really nice, casual, easy look. And at the moment, I have the shoulder strap setting at the second shortest setting. And that high seems to work quite well for me. So before I finish the video, I'll quickly show you how much I can fit in this bag. So I do intend to use this bag as a day bag, so I do like to carry all my essentials with me. So I've got everything laid out here that I normally carry on a daily basis. And I actually really love that the bag has three compartments. It'll keep everything organized in there. And um, when I pack my smaller bags, I really like to pack the bulkiest item first and then slip the smaller, smaller items around it. That way it seems to pack more neatly and um, it'll be, it's easy for me to find things when I need them. So the bulkiest item that I carry with me on a daily basis is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I've got it in the Demia Ibn print and I've had this for a while now, for a few years, and it's still in a really nice condition. This is what I love about these um, little um, goodies that Louis Vuitton makes. They just, I beat them up to death. I just throw them in my bag and they still look so good after so many years of constant use. And for me, definitely worth the investment. Okay, so in there I've got all my daily essentials. So this is my little catch-all. I don't have a separate makeup pouch because I don't touch up a lot during the day. So I've got everything from makeup to cables to earphones to you know hand cream, band-aids, painkillers, and everything fits in here really well. So definitely a good investment. I change up my bags quite a bit and um, Whenever I change up my handbags, I like to just, you know, have everything in the one pouch that I can just move from one bag to the other. So that I'll put in the biggest compartment of the bag. So there it is. And then the second biggest item would be my wallet. So I've got the Louis Vuitton Victorian wallet in the Demia Azure print and I selected the baby pink lining. So at the moment I am pretty obsessed with pinks. So this is beautiful. It's a really nice, small, compact wallet, but it still fits a ton. So if you guys are, want a review on it or anything like that, I would be really happy to do that for you. So leave them in the um, comments down below if you are interested in any of these items or if you want me to give you any more information on them. So I'm going to put the wallet into the front section there. And now the both items are in there. The next bulkiest item would be my key holder. So I've got my six key holder from Louis Vuitton and this is in the monogram with fuchsia lining. So initially when I bought this key holder, it came with a snap button with a fuchsia colored leather covering on it, but they wore out within two years of having it. So I actually sent this item in for a repair at Louis Vuitton and I requested them to change the snap to that, that standard brass and I'm really happy that that will wear much better in the years to come. So that will go next to my wallet. So there it is and I've just got my coin pouch now so this is my coin purse that I use every day I don't like to keep too many coins in my regular wallet because it makes the wallet just too bulky and stretch it out too much so I put all my coins in here and this is my Hermes Bestia coin purse and it actually fits a lot of coins in there so I'm really this is really handy item as well so I, I'll put that in the middle next to the mini pochette so that's everything in there the only other thing that I'll carry on a daily basis is my phone and I've got the iPhone 7 Plus so it's a big phone. I can either put that in the back slip pocket there or I always need to get to my phone. So I'll see if this fits comfortably in the back pocket here, the exterior pocket so it's easy for me to get to. Oh and that fits perfectly so that's really good. So let me just close this up, it looks up like that and you can still put quite a few more items, I think. So I probably put a pair of sunglasses in there as well. It fits quite a bit in there, so I'm really happy about that as well. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really hope that you enjoyed my video and I really hope to see you back here. Bye, guys.